thank you, Isa and Avery. We wish you good luck and we hope to see you attain more achievements in your educational journey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us give a hand to Mrs. Jennifer Twiggy D. Rojo for her parents' response. It's good to have an end to journey towards, but it's this journey that matters in the end. A blessed afternoon to each and everyone. Graduation day. Just uttering two simple words makes me emotional, especially now that we are facing different crises. Despite all this, as parents, we want our kids to realize their full potentials and make difference regardless of their career or their field of studies. 14 years ago, when Wade Ford was just a budding institution, Nang Marianne Aducado suggested that Ardi, my firstborn, should study there because it's part of assisted school that does not focus on the academic but also in character and spiritual formation of a child. Wade Ford has always provided a safe and peaceful learning environment for its students. I love how the various activities and program help cultivate the potential of a child. Wade Ford really does transform a child to become better. I also love how even the parents continue to learn other things in this institution. And the collaboration between parents and teachers really benefits the child. These are few of the many reasons why we choose Wade Ford School. That's why a choice of school really matters. The vision and mission of school matter. The professional competence of teacher and mothers. It is uh, because our children views of world and of their lives depend on how these have been introduced to them as they were growing up. What they will do to themselves and to the whole society where they will be will somehow be some reflection of how they had been raised. To RD, your dad, your brother and I, your grandparents, your uncles, aunts, cousins, and your whole extended family here could not possibly be any prouder of you than we are today. We've been blessed by having the opportunity to watch you grow from an incredibly cute small child into a responsible young man. Only yesterday, it feels like it was your first day at nursery school. It happens all too quickly for us. I admit that it saddened me to see you start the rest of your life. However, it can compare to how happy and proud that I know you are so well prepared and dedicated to your dreams. Never lose sight of those dreams and never compromise anything to reach them. To Miss Sindico and the faculty and staff, for 14 years, our children have been under your maternal and paternal care. In behalf of my fellow parents, especially my fellow moms, I thank you most sincerely for teaching our children the necessary skills and competence for them to hurdle a more challenging level of education. I thank you for teaching them about values and morals, discipline and orders, perseverance and hard work, consistency and determination, care and responsibilities, spirituality and excellence. Parents like me who are busy with work and responsibilities may at times forget our children's needs, especially at their most confusing moment, teenage adventurism. Through you, we're able to know our children better. Through you, we discover and hunt their strength, interests, skills, talents, and directions. Through you, we also learn their weaknesses, limitations, failures, flaws, softness, and Achilles heels. Together, we have produced them in, into who they are right before our very eyes. Lastly, our dear children, now that you are graduates from high school, Remember, there is no such thing as a success in life. There is only hard work, medals, citations, awards. Don't make a man. It is heart that soul that know how to love, to give importance, give the best, to become 
compensate to be humble and to make a man. It is the person who recognizes that God is the ultimate source of all the giftedness in him. Congratulations, Batch 2020, and to my fellow proud parents. Thank you so much, Ma'am Lala, for that wonderful response in behalf of all the parents. At this juncture, may we call on Rajan Jonshin B. Rojo, grade 12 student, to lead the graduates and completers in their pledge of loyalty. Let us all raise our right hand for the pledge of loyalty and repeat after me. I state your name. Rajan Janshen D. Rojo, do solemnly swear before God and in the presence of this assembly to hold sacred the name of my alma mater, Wade Ford School, to be loyal to her and to live up to her expectations. I also pledge my devotion, trust, and sense of responsibility to her commitment, to share my talents and wisdom, and to live up to the values of the school. Success doesn't rush. The reward is the journey. To our honored guests, viewers, parents, teachers, and to my fellow graduates, a cheerful day. I may not have experienced transferring schools, but I did experience moving from one building to another, a story that waiters will understand. I recall back when I was still in preschool that we had to cross the street just to use the computer lab during our playtime because the department's building was separated from the rest. As we all go through our journey in life, I hope we remember how our alma mater has been through just to finally meet its abode, the permanent home of our school. Our humble Vinta has been waiting for almost 17 years against the waves and crashing winds, but the faithful family we have in this beautiful community has never failed in their faith. We believe that we can make it through the challenges and hindrances we encountered. And I am so happy that finally, Wadeford found its permanent home. Now, I would really like to greet all of you. Welcome home. For 14 long years, I have collected many joyful memories in Wadeford. I remember the excitement I felt whenever I am given a pink FOS, because it meant I did something good, which means I've got prizes for my family. I also recall how big of a deal it was when your group wins the Merit and the Merit Challenges every week. It was really fun and full of laughter. I recall and will always remember the excitement I feel every time we prepare for programs to mention the Bonawika, Intramurals, and Family Day. Those are just few moments in my life that I experienced to be the boy that I wanted to be. This is how my life became a relevant and transformative story of conquering one's fear. That a failure learned to stand in behalf of others. That a terrified pupil became the voice of the majority. That a helpless student became someone's help. As a kid, I have always thought of myself as a talentless person. I could not sing, dance, or do arts like other kids. I was very comparative and self-degrading. I am not a perfect student, nor am I close to being one. I never aced any of my exams in elementary, and I remember that I always had to take removal tests because I failed, not just once, but always. I remember one time when I was no longer excited to know my scores because I know that I failed, but in the eyes of my parents, they still believed in me. I also never joined any contest or attempted to join one, and I never talked as much as how I talk today. How odd is it? You can do it already. We are so proud of you. These lines fueled me to be motivated. I can't imagine what will I be if not for Wadeford School and my supportive family. Here in Wadeford, the teachers, they never give up. They will never give up on you. Thus, they do not limit your growth to what you thought you could be. Instead, they wait until you're ready to bloom and succeed. My parents are not mistaken about transferring me to another school, for they wanted the best for me. From someone who has always been too shy to even greet my classmates, to an MC and contestant. From a crybaby who'll, who'll cry even the, in the slightest of mishaps, like a broken correction tape, to a contestant who just can't cry on cue. And from a pupil who cried, yes, cried again, 
because he got elected in a club position to this school year's SSG president. To my teachers and coaches, especially Ms. Joy, Sir Bernard, Ms. Rucci, Sir Mark, Ms. Berna, Ms. Nona, Ms. Christelle, Sir Gladwin, and of course, Sir Levy, thank you. Thank you, Wade Ford. Thank you for allowing and pushing me to experience things I never thought I could do. Now, I would like to share with you three of my most favorite virtues. First, prudence. All actions must be validated with our conscience. Start good and everything will follow good. Second, fortitude, the strength of character. Faith will always make a cat believe he is a lion. What we believe we are is what we can be. Our faith reminds us that our God is bigger than all of our problems. And lastly, love. All the marvelous virtues are the virtues of love. If there is love, everything is beautiful. We see beauty in every suffering, and we enlighten our fears to be our strength. Love is transformative. It teaches us to be humble when we carry more. Love is being compassionate and mindful of others. Love also sees mercy than hate. Love makes a shepherd to be God's warrior for the goodness of people. Love knows sacrifices and triumphs in all impossible to win battles. Of all the virtues, the greatest of all is love. Love bonded our family here in Wadeford. I will surely miss the Kulitan with the students, teachers, and sometimes the parents. I will surely miss the food, the laughter, and the lessons. For 14 long years, I found a home in Wadeford School. That is why I never believed when people tell me that there is no growth and change when you choose to stay in the same place. For if there is something that Wadeford taught me aside from the usual academics, is that growth and change don't always require moving from one place to another. What change requires the most is the patience and willpower. Like a plant, my growth is dependent on the people who would water me. That is why I owe it to everyone I've been with in Wadeford, and of course, to my family. To Mam Sindiko, teachers, and to my former class advisors, thank you for all your efforts. Thank you for sharing us your skills and wisdom, and for seeing the potentials we never saw. To my family, I can't thank you all enough for the love and support. Thank you for the encouragement that kept me going, that kept me motivated and inspired to do better. I couldn't have done it without you. To my classmates, old and new, thank you for always making days brighter. Never a day without laughter when, whenever I'm with you guys. I'll miss all of you and I will surely miss the teamwork. Tingnan nyo, graduate na tayo ngayon ng high school. Congratulations graduates, good day, stay safe, and God bless us all. Thank you, graduates and RD. We hope that you will always remain loyal to your alma mater. In every memorable moment of one's life, there are always songs that will embody the right emotions. With a round of applause, let us welcome the senior kinder graduates for the class video presentation.
Thank you, senior kinder pupils and advisors. At this moment, let's watch the grade six video presentation. Let's give them a resounding round of applause. Graduates, again, our congratulations to all of you. 
At this moment, ladies and gentlemen, we give you the grade 10 and 12 class video presentations. Let's give them a reverberating round of applause. i 
troubles may come in your way But always remember to stay Congratulations, graduates! This time, may we call on one of the respected members of Waitford Foundation Incorporated, Mrs. Rossi V. Ventilio, our treasurer of the Board of Trustees, to give the closing remarks. To the Board of Trustees, our principal, faculty and staff, graduates and awardees, grateful parents, Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to conclude our today's program with a few words to our graduates and awardees. As you proceed to the next chapter of your lives, I give you the following ingredients for success. Things I have observed in people I've known with over the years. First, integrity. If you carry out your responsibilities consistently to the best of your ability, people will turn to you for leadership. Next is courage. In the face of adversity and even tragedy, try to remember the reasons for optimism and never be afraid to ask for help. Follow your instincts and curiosity wherever they lead and broaden your knowledge by reading as much as you can. Embrace opportunities to collaborate. It's the key to our success as a society, and it helps us grow as individuals. Be bold and take risks, and don't let the fear of failure stop you. Failure is a part of life. It's another way to learn. Change is a, change is a part of life. Two, sometimes it's frightening, but we should see it as a chance to explore and to test our limits. Above all, enjoy what you do. Take pleasures and satisfactions in what you achieve. Along with the personal characteristics I've mentioned above, this is the key to a happy life. Whatever your next steps, I invite you to see your studies in Wadeford as a as a part of lifetime of learning. And I encourage you to use that learning to live every situation better than it was before. Graduates and awardees, and to your supportive parents, congratulations. You have worked hard. You deserve to be proud of this achievement and to take this opportunity to celebrate. Good luck and God bless us all. Thank you so much, Ma'am Rosie. Thank you so much to all of you here. This commencement exercise has really been noteworthy for everyone here. Graduation is indeed a time of completion. 
of finishing, of an ending. However, it is also a time of celebration, of achievement, and most importantly, a beginning for a new journey. Congratulations, graduates, completers, and parents. The management, faculty, and staff of Waitford School and Waitford Foundation Incorporated would like to extend their heartfelt gratitude and deepest appreciation to parents, students, teachers, and friends for their generous efforts and support enabling the school to accomplish all its projects and programs for the school year 2019 to 2020. Enrollment for school 2020 to 2021 is still ongoing. We offer free tuition fee for grades 7, 11, and 12, lower tuition rates for preschool. Hurry and enroll now, limited slots only. Once again, thank you very much and God bless us all. The founding parents and Bishop Gabrielle V. Reyes, with the support of Parents for Education Foundation, a school of parents' dream was born. Waitford School as Ambition teaches virtues, values, goodness, nobility, character, and Christian leadership. In May 11, 2015, the school was granted authority to accept foreign students after having complied accreditation requirements. The school has become a home to diverse learners. Wakeford School has facilities that are conducive to learning. Library, computer room, science room, special events rooms, and TLE room to harness students' talents in art, filmmaking, and culinary to name What makes this school different from other schools? There is unity in diversity. Balance to acquire integral formation in academics, co-curricular activities, and spiritual development. Our motto is facere et docere, to do and to teach. We teach by example, as well as by our words. We lead the virtues. We build characters. We shape leaders. The school forms leaders who eventually can contribute to the transformation of society according to Christian ideals. We believe in excellence in all aspects of a person, his mind, his will, his heart, a good person. This is Wakeford School. This is home.